Welcome to integers, lesson number six, dividing integers. This is our fourth operation that we will have performed with integers in this unit. We started with addition and subtraction. Last lesson we did multiplication. We're going to be borrowing heavily from some of the concepts that we learned in multiplication when we're dividing integers. So let's jump right in with the fourth operation, division. Example number one, divide the following integers, positive 12 divided by positive 2. So let's look at the, uh, the first hint. The first hint says the quotient, which is like the result, it's a mathy way of saying the result of a division, of dividing two positive integers is also positive. So if we look closely at example one, we'll see that positive 12, we have a positive first integer being divided by a positive second integer. The hint tells us that our answer will also be positive. And now we need to just do the division. So we've got 12 divided by 2 gives us 6. So our answer is positive 6. It's not too bad. Let's have a look at example number 2. We're going to divide the following integers again. This is another way of writing division. It's actually written sort of like a fraction where we have the numerator, which is the number that we'll be dividing, and the denominator, which is going to be the number we'll be dividing by. Uh, so it's just another way of writing division. And if we look at these integers, we'll notice that our first integer, the numerator, is negative, and our denominator, the second number, is also negative. So how will it work when we are dividing two integers with negative, uh, negative signs? And hint number two tells us that our quotient, our result, will be positive. So negative 15 divided by negative 3 will give me a positive quotient. And now I just need to divide the numbers. 15 divided by 3 gives me 5. So the answer to negative 15 divided by negative 3 is positive 5. One more example to go. Let's divide the following integers. We have negative 20, so that is a negative integer being divided by positive 10, which is a positive integer. So we have two integers here we're dividing. Each one of them has a different sign. How will that work? If we look at the hint, the hint says that the quotient of dividing two integers with different signs is negative. So our answer to this one, to this particular division, will be negative, as the signs of our two integers are different. So there is our negative. And now we look at the numbers themselves and divide them. So 20 divided by 10 will give me 2. So the answer to negative 20 divided by positive 10 is negative 2. So there are our first three examples included in, within them, three hints on how to divide integers. Let's complete a summary now, something that we can use moving forward. So when we are dividing integers with the same sign, either both negative or both positive, we are going to have a positive quotient, meaning our answer will come out positive. If, however, we are dividing integers with different signs, either negative, positive, positive and negative being divided, our quotient, our result or answer will be negative. So there's a summary. You'll notice that this is the exact same summary that we did in our lesson on multiplying integers. So these rules or these um, guidelines for multiplying and dividing integers are the same. If you are multiplying or dividing integers with the same sign, the answer, either the product or the quotient, will be positive. When you are multiplying or dividing integers with different signs, negative positive or positive negative, the product or quotient will be negative. So let's try some of the examples on our own. Here's example A. What I'd like you to do here is hit pause, give this one a try on your own. When you've got an answer, come on back and we'll see how you did. Okie doke, you're back. We have positive 18 divided by negative 6. So I ask myself, are my signs the same or different? I see that they are different, which tells me that the result, the quotient, will be a negative integer. And 18 divided by 6 gives me 3. So my answer is negative 3. Hopefully your answer was also negative 3. Let's have a look at example B. Again, I'd like you to hit pause here. Once you've got an answer, come on back and we'll check how you did. All right, let's get a look at this. We have a negative 24 divided by a negative 3. I look at this and see the signs are both the same, which tells me that my result, the quotient, will be positive. 
and 24 divided by 3 gives me 8. So my answer of negative 24 divided by negative 3 is positive 8. Hopefully that was good for you as well. Let's have a look at example C. What I'd like you to do is give this one a try on your own. Hit pause here. When you've got an answer, come on back and we'll check in. All right, let's get a look at this. We have a negative numerator, a negative integer, being divided by a positive denominator, um, also an integer. So we are now going to look at those signs, a negative and a positive. So they are different. It tells me that the quotient is going to be negative and 16 negative 16 rather divided by positive 8 will give me a negative 2 as a result. Off to example D, grand finale. What I'd like you to do here is hit pause, give this one a try on your own, and when you've got an answer, come on back. We'll see how you did. Okay, let's get a look at this. We have a positive 8, it's a positive integer, divided by a positive 2. We look at those signs. We notice they are the same. That tells us that our quotient is also going to be positive. And 8 divided by 2 will give me 4. So that is my answer. This is also the end of lesson number 6, which is dividing integers. If you're feeling good about this material, head off to the worksheet. Uh, if not, feel free to look back through the lesson uh, before you start the worksheet, and we'll see you in lesson number 7.